For my digital story, I chose to teach two different lessons using the cognitive constructivist theory. I first assessed the learner's knowledge on both topics by using a pre-assessment. Once I knew what background knowledge the learner had, I was able to construct lessons that used discovery learning. The first lesson was on a topic that the learner had little previous knowledge, the convection cycle. We spent time discussing what happens to air molecules when heat is added, and the learner was able to produce this explanation of the molecules reaction. Eventually they start to move faster and faster and then they begin to bounce off of one another and then they spread. Do they go down or up? They go up. Heat rises. We then decided to test this idea that heat rises by boiling water. The heat on the water is causing it to evaporate and as the molecules are moving faster they start to bounce off one another and they spread and because there's less air pressure they start to move up. When they reach the top they start to spread out and eventually they began to come down back towards the surface. The learner is able to recognize while heat rises and the molecules rise up, they also eventually must cool down as well. We chose to draw diagrams and visualize what happens when on the Earth's surface, air molecules are moved up from heat and eventually cool down. For the second lesson, I assessed the learner's knowledge of the moon phases and how they are created. He was able to acknowledge that the moon does not change shape, but he was unable to draw what the moon looks like in different phases. We worked first to draw a diagram of which portion of the moon is lit and which portion is not. After doing so, he had a better understanding of the moon phases. So what phase are you coloring in now? This is a full moon because we see the illuminated part of the moon from the sun. Good. So what we see from Earth is? A full moon. Is the whole moon lit? No. Just the half that we see. The entire half that we see is completely illuminated by the sun. Is it always half that's lit? Half of the moon. When the moon is on this side of the Earth relative to the sun, it is a full moon because the whole half of the moon that we see is illuminated by the sun. When it's over here, it's a quarter, first quarter, third quarter actually, and we only see a quarter of the moon that's illuminated. When it's over here, we, it's the moon is blocked out by the sun and the half of it that we always see is not illuminated because it's covered by the earth. And then lastly, when it's here, it's again at the quarter, the fourth cycle from where we started. And we only see a quarter of the moon this After quarter. practicing with the models, the learner was assessed again. The learner was able to create correct diagrams of the moon phases and showed a better understanding of how they occur. After teaching both lessons, I believe that the stronger the previous knowledge a learner has on a subject, the better they will do when assessed. Foundational knowledge of any concept makes learning a new concept easier. Pre-assessments are one of the most important tools we need to utilize in our classrooms to ensure our teaching is building off of what students have already mastered.